Hello, and welcome to the 2020 ASFPM National Awards. My name is Chad Berginis, and I'm the Executive Director of the Association of State Floodplain Managers. I appreciate you joining us today. And while we hoped that we could have given these awards in Fort Worth, Texas, where our 2020 conference was located, due to COVID, obviously we can't do that. So we're doing these virtually. But I trust and I hope that each of you are safe in your homes, in your communities, and continuing to persevere through this very challenging time. With that, let's go ahead and start our awards. first award that we're giving out today is the Tom Lee State Award for Excellence in Floodplain Management. It's given annually to recognize outstanding floodplain management program or activity at the state level. It preserves the memory of Tom Lee, a visionary floodplain manager responsible for some of the country's finest state level programs and for his instrumental work in developing the regulatory framework that we seek to implement and improve today. 2020 Tom Lee State Award winner goes to the Florida State Floodplain Management Office. Congratulations for a job well done. Beyond its NFIP responsibilities, which are considerable, Florida's Floodplain Management Office has undertaken several initiatives that can serve as models for other states, including a post-disaster toolkit. It also created an innovative program that improves coordination between communities share floodplain management issues, challenges, and solutions while offering training to help participants work towards their certified floodplain management credentials. Hi, I'm Eddie Boza with Florida State Floodplain Management Office, and I'm honored to be selected to say thank you for this award. On behalf of our team, I'd like to express our deep appreciation to ASFPM, its members, and executive board for awarding the state of Florida the 2020 Tom Lee Award for Excellence in Floodplain Management. I'd like to share this moment with some of our team members, so please enjoy these photos as I highlight some more important aspects of our program. Over the past several years, our team enhanced our outreach and coordination with Florida's 467 NFIP communities with our State Coordinating Office Regional Engagement Community Assistance Visits, affectionately known as SCORE CAVs. During normal operation, we conduct about 135 CAVs each year and achieve about an 80% closure rate. Our three-tier process involves rubber to the road, conducting inspections of each community's flood-prone areas, utilizing digital firms, rep loss and hurricane claims data, and community staff suggestions for compliance verification purposes. A few weeks later, usually on Mondays, we conduct a six-hour regional interactive session with community staff to discuss implementing floodplain management, which is followed by 90-minute sessions during the week with each community for a more personalized talk with local staff. Local staff enjoy the learning experience because they interact with other FPAs in their region and the state team. By discussing common compliance issues, everyone is part of a learning process which builds working relationships rather than adversity between local staff and our team. ASFPM also awards six CECs for the six-hour CAV session. Through SCORECAV and other state initiatives, we've developed an excellent rapport with Florida communities that will serve us and other communities during post-disaster recovery through Florida's statewide mutual aid agreement. Again, we deeply appreciate ASFPM recognizing Florida's strong floodplain management program, and we thank you very much. Next award is the Larry R. Johnson Local Floodplain Manager of the Year Award, which commemorates the life and work of Larry Johnson who was finishing his work on the highly acclaimed National Assessment of Floodplain Management at the time of his untimely death. This award recognizes outstanding individual efforts and contributions at the local level. The 2020 Larry R. Johnson Local Floodplain Manager of the Year Award winner goes to Cornelius Byrne, Floodplain Manager and CRS Coordinator for Sea Isle City, New Jersey. Congratulations, Neil. Under Neil's leadership, Sea Isle City corrected past violations while strictly enforcing current regulations and allowing it to re-enter the CRS program after being on probation. The community continues to improve and its current class three level is a first in New Jersey. Neil also helped write the watershed master plan in the state and was part of the team that wrote the city's OEM plan for the CRS 610 credit in flood warning and response. 
In 2017, he was named Building Inspector of the Year by the New Jersey Building Officials Association. At CL City's floodplain manager and construction official, I am honored to receive the Larry R. Johnston Local Floodplain Manager of the Year Award from the Association of State Floodplain Managers. CL City, being a Class 3 CRS community, knows the value of strong flood resiliency programs. Over the years, we have risen from being one of FEMA's problem children to a community that has stood out in the nation as a leader in the CRS community. Obviously, this did not happen overnight, and it required the help and backing of our mayor, Len Desiderio, and our city council members who recognized the importance of flood planning and mitigation. With the guidance of the ASFPM, I have worked with city officials to continually improve and strengthen our ordinances and regulations so Seattle City could become the resilient community we are today. On behalf of our elected officials and all the people of Seattle City, please accept my sincere thanks for this honor. Thank you very much. Our next award is the John Ivey Award for Superior Efforts and Certification and recognizes exceptional efforts to promote the professional certification of floodplain managers. The award is named after John Ivey, who was instrumental in the development and the rollout of the Certified Floodplain Manager Program. Our 2020 John Ivey Award for Superior Efforts and Certification Award goes to Roy Sedgwick of the Texas Floodplain Management Association. Roy was a pioneer in the development of the Certified Floodplain Manager Program. From its beginning until the present day, fostering the nation's largest CFM program partner and accredited chapter for CFM administration in the state of Texas. He remains a strong champion for the CFM program nationwide. Congratulations, Roy. Next award is the James Lee Witt Local Award for Excellence in Floodplain Management, which recognizes outstanding programs or activities at the front lines of floodplain management. Local programs are where the rubber meets the road. The ASFPM Board of Directors in 2000 named this award after the FEMA Director James Lee Witt in recognition of his landmark efforts to support, enhance, and encourage local floodplain management capabilities. The 2020 recipient of the James Lee Witt Local Award for Excellence in Floodplain Management goes to Greenville County, South Carolina. Greenville County's proactive floodplain management program has facilitated the acquisition of 100, over 180 at risk or damaged properties, representing over 200 structures removed from the floodplain, upgraded approximately 96 bridges or culverts, and returned more than 105 acres to natural floodplain. This program is unique in that much of the work has been completed without the benefit of federal funding. Congratulations, Greenville County. Our next award is the Meritorious Lifetime Achievement in Floodplain Management Award, which recognizes individuals who, throughout their career, have achieved success in a significant aspect of floodplain management. These efforts could include policy, outreach, implementation, education, government, research, litigation, or other activities that demonstrate the advancement of flood loss and risk reduction. This year, we have three winners. Our first recipient of the 2020 Meritorious Lifetime Achievement in Floodplain Management Award goes to Brett Gates, who is the National Flood Insurance Program's Endangered Species Act Coordinator at FEMA. That is really one of the pioneers of FEMA's NFIP floodplain management program and was part of the original team that developed the NFIP regulations that are still the foundation of the program today. He also managed the first state floodplain management grant assistance program, which is now the CAP SASE program. He later served as program manager for the CRS program. Brett also helped lead the NFIP's efforts to better meet the program's obligations under the Endangered Species Act. Congratulations, Brett. Thanks so much, Chad, the awards committee and the ASAPM membership for this wonderful recognition. I'm so humbled to receive this year's Meritorious Lifetime Achievement and Floodplain Management Award, especially given the past great recipients. 
I'm especially proud of coordinating the CAP program on and off again for a total of 10 years, working with so many great state partners. Also to be lucky enough to serve for 16 years as FEMA's first national coordinator of the community rating system from the start of the program in 1990. Whether working with CAP, the CRS, developing various floodplain management policies, or documenting that our NFIP floodplain management standards have saved over $99 billion in future flood losses to date. My most cherished memories were always making progress in mitigating future flood losses through teamwork with you, the most passionate and diehard professionals I know, local, state, and federal floodplain professionals as represented by the ASFPM. I thank you for this honor. The second recipient of the 2020 Meritorious Lifetime Achievement and Floodplain Management Award goes to Lisa Hare, an environmental engineer with EPA's Office of Water. Lisa led a variety of efforts to advance the adoption of green stormwater infrastructure practices to reduce property losses from localized flooding. She recognized the opportunity to integrate Clean Water Act programs with natural hazard mitigation planning and projects, and she became a tireless advocate and committed federal partners in this pursuit. Lisa was a strong voice in the EPA for approaches that integrate water quality, habitat restoration, and nature-based infrastructure. Congratulations, Lisa. Finally, our third recipient of the 2020 Meritorious Lifetime Achievement and Floodplain Management Award goes to William Buster Smith, the Association of Alabama Floodplain Managers. Buster spearheaded the creation of the Association of Alabama Floodplain Managers, which in 2008 received the chapter membership in ASFPM. Buster served as the president for several years and has since held many roles in the AAFM Board of Directors. He is still very active and attends association events each year. AAFM membership has increased significantly over the years and many still credit much of that growth to the strong foundation and leadership of Buster. Congratulations, Buster. Greetings from Muscle Shoals, Alabama. I am William E. Buster Smith, and I am truly honored to receive such a meaningful award. I thank the Association of State Club Play Managers for selecting me as the recipient and to the Alabama Association of Club Play Managers Board for nominating me as property manager for Pickwick, Wilson, Wheeler, and Gunnersville uh, TVA Reservoir lands. I was a floodplain manager for over 40 years. However, I was introduced to real floodplain management after I retired by Ken Meredith from the Alabama Office of Water Resources. Ken suggested I undertake the IS-9 study program and become a certified floodplain manager, which I did. After meeting many Alabama floodplain managers over the next few years and attending two Mississippi State conferences, and meeting the ASFPM staff who encouraged forming an Alabama chapter, I drafted bylaws, had them reviewed by an attorney friend, and discussed them with the Alabama attendees at my third Mississippi conference. At an organizational meeting in Montgomery in early January 2008, the 52 attendees approved the bylaws, elected officers and directors, and approved a motion to submit an application to ASFPM for chapter membership. On May the 8th, 2008, the ASFPM board accepted the application and the Alabama Association of Floodplain Managers became the 27th chapter of ASFPM. I accepted the charter at the 2008 ASFPM National Conference, one of the proudest moments of my life. Thank you again. Our next award is the Luthane Award for Distinguished Service named after Jerry Luthane and created in 1995. And it's the highest award ASFPM gives to recognize individuals who, through their long-term efforts, have clearly influenced the work of ASFPM. This year's ASFPM Luthane Distinguished Service Award goes to Bob Freitag. Bob Freitag's service to the association is apparent across numerous fronts. He served on the ASFPM board as Region 10 Director for six years and was instrumental in helping NORFMA become an ASFPM chapter. 
He was also the creator and first chair of the association's Higher Education Committee, primary author of ASFPM's policy on climate change, and the creator of an ad hoc group to discuss and address climate change issues, causes, and adaptation. Congratulations, Bob, on a well-earned award. Congratulations to all of the 2020 ASFPM award winners. We so very much appreciate the work you do to keep our communities safe. And without all of you, we would not have effective floodplain management in the nation. Also, thank you to the award selection committee, Jerry Robinson, Rebecca Pfeiffer, and Del Schwals for your time and effort and dedication to this awards process. Finally, we'll begin accepting nominations for the 2021 ASFPM Awards very soon. Stay tuned and we hope to see everybody in Raleigh, North Carolina in 2021 at the ASFPM National Conference and National Awards Ceremony. Stay safe and God bless.